Hey guys, Saw and Thunder here with uh, episode 18 of Zero to Hero. I'm just going to do a, a quick overview today of... Uh, it's just going to be a quicker video. Uh, the last one was quite long, so I'm just going to start out here with uh, some of my sold auctions. Uh, my items have been reposted two times, so uh, there's a total here of like f about three days worth of sales. So, Tome of the Clear Mines, Regal Wizard Hat, Transmog item, 234 gold. Uh, Templar Gauntlets, Transmog item, 349 gold. Tome of the Clear Mines, a Design, the Jade Eye, only 6 gold on that one, not very much, but. Uh, Tome of the Clear Mind. Oh, that was a stack of them, I guess. Skipped over it. Uh, Wolf Riders Gloves, Transmog item, 294 gold, 295 gold. Clear mine. Huntsman's Belt, Transmog item, 300 gold. A stack of 20 coal that I purchased from the vendor for just under 20 gold. Formula Enchant Bracer Minor Strength. I'm guessing this is a recipe I bought off the auction house to resell. I don't, I don't think that one came from a vendor, but 50 gold for that. Pattern bolt of imbued nether weave. So 299 gold. You can buy this pattern in uh, Shatterath for right around five gold. Simple blouse, uh, transmog item, 298 gold. Pattern spell cloth. Another one that's purchased in uh, Shatterath for around 5 gold. Sold that one for 100. We've got some Tome of the Clear Mines here. A lot of Tome of the Clear Mines. Stylish black shirt. Vendor shirt for 30 gold. Scouting trousers. Transmog item. 220 gold. Vanishing powder. Just a single one for 5 gold there. Tome of the Clear Mines. Formula, large prismatic shard purchased in Shatterath for around 5 gold, sold for 299 gold. <laughs> a skinning knife sold for 50 gold. Of course, you can buy those at vendors everywhere. What's this one? Ancient Tome of Teleport Dalaran. So I think I picked this up. I'd have to look it up, but I think I bought it... Uh, I think I paid around 150 or 250 gold for it and sold it for 800. That was one of the items I found on the Undermine Journal. Tome of the Clear Mind. A Guild Tabard for 19 gold. A stack of 20 Tome of the Clear Mines. A couple single Tome of the Clear Mines. And here we have Blackforge Cal, Transmog item, 190 gold. Clefthove Breeches, 200 gold. Bone Shredder Gloves, 180. Skeddy's Chest Piece, Transmog, 165 gold. Uh, a couple pieces of Skeddy's, I guess. Sold the shoulders as well for 192. And then Swashbucklers Bracers for 300. Battleforge Gauntlets, 306. <laughs> Strong Flux, bought from the vendor, sold for 19 gold, and I sold a couple of them, it looks like. Three, four of them. Uh, Red Dye, same deal, bought from the vendor, sold singles for 19 gold, and I sold one, two, two of them, I guess. Huh, <laughs> selling stuff while I'm... The cha-ching sound is the updated, if you update your TSM, the new TSM editions... Um, there's an option to turn that uh, sound on. I'll show you here in a second once I'm done collecting my mail. On gold 51 on Dusted Disappearance. Emerald Girdle for 252 gold. Gyro Crone Atom? <laughs> Something like that anyway. Vendor item that I purchased for a couple gold and sold it for 19. Shield of the Beast. Fell Iron Shield. Okay, that's a Transmog Shield. Chieftain's Boots. Transmog, 194 gold. 
Knight's Pauldrons, 152. Left of Wander Boots, 300. So I sold a lot of Transmog gear on this tune just in the past couple days here. Uh, War Maul Helmet, 231 gold. Blood Fist Breastplate, 180 gold. Design J Pendant of Blasting, 7 gold. It's home of the Clear Mines. Scouting Trousers, 199 gold, 200 gold. Glifty Pullets, so shoulders, 200 gold. We have here Pattern Heavy Earthen Gloves. So that's probably a recipe I bought to resell. 25 gold. There we go. Heroes Leggings, 633 gold. I think the legs are the hardest item to get from the hero set, if I remember correctly. So 633 gold for those. That's a good one. Or paint leg guards, 184 gold. Staff of the Shade, 300 gold on that one. Pandaren Peach. So if you guys seen some of my earlier videos, this is a, a vendor food that you can buy uh, either in the shrine or over by the tiller's farm. Sold for 16 gold, 17 gold. Blood Fist Greaves, 182 gold. Formula Enchantu Hand at Weapon. Lesser Intellect. I might have got that one from a vendor actually, but it sold for 50 gold. Uh, Enchanting Vellum. Kind of cheap on those. Three, four, should be five of them. Maybe more. Six, seven, eight, one, ten. I guess we're going for 20. 14. 15. I must have had a whole stack of them on there. Alright. I got opiate on a design by 3 copper. So we won't count that. Time to clear mine. Alright. Light parchment. One of those. Blood fist. Girdle. So transmog belt. 200 gold. Ladies. Brittle Bracers. So that's, um, I believe, an epic, like a Wrath of the Lich King epic, I think. Uh, that was something that I bought to resell, so I sold that for 400 gold. A stylish black shirt for 25. Another Tome of the Clear Mine. That's a stack of five, so eight gold for the stack of five. Pattern, both of imbued Netherweave. I'm going to have to go back to Shat and pick up some more patterns, guys, because it looked like I sold them all. Um... Uh, a single salt <laughs> for 19 gold. Stylish black shirt. Looks like I sold a couple salt. Two, three, there should be four, five of these. Yeah. So I sold all five of them. Look at this. Buccaneers boots, 894 gold. Very nice. Blood fist breastplate, 179 gold. What's this? A stack of five barley. So this is another one of those vendor food items that you can buy at the shrine. A stack of five sold for 100 gold, so 20 gold piece. Told me to clear mines to finish it off. And that's the total mail. And I collected 10,193 gold. And again, guys, that, that was... Uh, I posted my items once when I made the last video and then I logged in last night and reposted them for a second time so uh, it's basically been on there for about uh, 72 hours we'll say I did one post of 48 hours and then let it sit for another 24 hours after that so about 72 hours posting 10,000 gold uh, very minimal effort just buying some transmog gear some vendor items throwing it on the auction house and uh, back up to 13.5k now after buying myself two royal satchels last episode. So I'm going to do a quick transmog search here on the uh, auction house and uh, see what I can find. And I'll skip ahead to once this is done. Alright guys, I'm back. Um, I had a little bit of issues with my shopping scan right now I'm getting an error so until I get that resolved I decide to start running the sniper instead and I let this run for about five or six minutes now um, basically it runs constantly it's constantly scanning the last page of the auction house so the most recent items at it and I'll show you guys 
um, how you can start this scan yourself. Um, so basically, now I, these items, may I may not be able to buy them. Uh, I'm going to probably buy these gems and that's probably about it here. But if you let this run, you can get some pretty good items from it. So I'm going to stop the sniper. And I'm going to see if these are still here or not. Um, somebody more than likely already grabbed these because, well, I got those. <clears throat> you pretty much have to be on the ball, uh, especially it, when it's a really good deal. Quite often it'll get bought out quickly, so. So I've got a couple gems here I can flip. And since my transmog scan is not working, um, I'm going to use the TSM application instead. And what I've done is under, uh, it's not responding of course, deal notification. Um, what I've done is checked off my shopping list for KT, which is the realm that this tune is on. And I'm just going to go through here and see if I can snag a couple pieces maybe. It's updating, that's why it's... Come on. That'll move once it's done updating. Bad timing. There. Alright, so I'm just going to go through and I see this righteous gear on here. It looks cheap, so I'm just going to search righteous. It's going to manually buy some of these transmog items this way. still updating so it's not going to let me scan through the pages the items do I have on here 712 items so not too bad all right I think it's caught up now so I'm just going through my list you can hear it updating in the background there that's what that ding is There's two types of Revenant gear. There's the level 70 gear, which I don't find sells very well as a transmog item. And then there's the level 40 gear, these ones here, which seem to sell okay. So I'm going to pick up these ones. A few pieces here. Skip the 70 gear. Alright. Still updating. Alright, maybe I'll come back and uh, shop for some transmog gear another time because it is not working out right now. But quickly I'll go over the sniper settings with you guys. So, uh, first thing I've done is opened up Trade Skill Master and clicked on Module Operations and Shopping. And right here I've changed. I set my own custom price to 20% and it's going to take the first one it comes to which is WoW Auction Region Market or sorry WoW Auction Market and if there's no data for that it will take from WoW Auction Region Market. Um, basically this is going to search for anything that's under 20% of the value of what it normally sells for on average. That's the only thing I've changed. If you're not using the WoW Auction module, you can also put in like something like, um, let me just copy this, 20% DB market. That will also work and find you items, but this will only find items if you've scanned the auction house yourself. And it would have had to have seen these items on the auction house before. So. If it's a rare item, you may not get it with that. So I like to use this, which I will link in the description. Or I'll uh, paste it into the description of the video as well, so you guys can see it. And then you basically click on your shopping tab and uh, just start it up. Now there's lots of different ways to use the sniper. You can 
set up groups. There's actually a really good uh, guide on this the sniper feature on the consortium forums. You guys can check that one out. Um, and you just let it run. Uh, it's good if you're if you have a bunch of prospecting that you got to do or something like that. You can sit here and do your prospecting while doing the sniper scan and just let it run. Eventually you'll snag some deals. Uh, bolt of linen cloth. I mean, I, I could flip that, <laughs> but for the amount that it, I would get out of it, I don't think it's really worthwhile for me to do. So, Anyway, guys, I think that's going to be it for this episode, and uh, hopefully we'll have some better luck next episode as far as uh, things working out. Anyway, don't forget to stop by my live stream sometime. Say hi. Uh, check out some of my other guides if you're interested in TSM. I have lots of trade skill master guides, including a transmog setup guide. And uh, I guess that's it for today, guys.